once you've checked out some of the percussion parts of the book and of these video lessons, uh, you, we can begin orchestrating the Monica 2 rhythms onto the drum set. And the first part that, that I started with was taking the Alfaya, the Maraca 2 bass drum pattern, and putting it onto the bass drum, and then taking the gongue, that big bell pattern, that big bell that we've got, we're gonna take this sucker and we're gonna put it on the hi-hat. So first off, let's start with the bass drum, the Alfaya pattern. We're gonna play the rhythm called Baki di Marcação, which is one of the traditional Maraca 2 rhythms. So, putting it right here on the bass drum. One, two, three, and boom. Okay, so that's the bass drum pattern. And then if we put the gongue, remember the gongue, the clave of maraca 2 is played on the gongue, and it sounds like this. Two, three, four, one. So now we've got the gongue on the hi-hat and the alfaya on the bass drum. So let's put the two of them together. One, two, three, and... Okay, so this is, this is a hard coordination exercise that, that you should take your time with. Always use a metronome and be patient. <clears throat> the other thing we can do with the bass drum that I like doing is playing uh, a New Orleans mambo for the first half of the measure and then playing the marcasson. So that would sound, a New Orleans mambo on the bass drum would just be something like this. So now let's turn that into a maraca two with the gongue pattern in the hi-hat. Two, three, four. Within this rhythm, it's very important to explore the feel and spend a lot of time with this, just with this feel alone. It's those accents, da doom, da doom, doom, ka ba ba ka da doom, da doom, doom. You've got to try to put this on your bass drum. So you've got to live with that feel for a little while. So check it out. Three, four. And this is why listening to the audio examples that come with the book is so important so that you can get that sound in your ear. Remember that music is a language and the more you listen to it, the more you're going to understand the accents and the feels. So listening to the audio example of these foot patterns in the book is really going to help you develop that feel that's necessary to play maraca 2 on the drum set with an authentic feel.